All right, everyone. So it is the 12th of July and Landa and I are out in our garden. Luckily, we have a space reserved for some leaks, so we have room to put a tote there. He is going to empty this first worm tower and water goes in, I guess, from the lid. We have an irrigation system that will sprinkle this garden first thing in the morning and some of that water runs through to the worm tower. He is lifting the entire bucket out. Wow, look at that. Okay, go for it, Landon. <laughs> We've decided to empty this entire bucket into a styrofoam tote, and then I will assess the tote just like I would any other system. Um, he's gonna try to get all of this material out of the bucket. You can see lots of worms on the edges and everything. And then we will replace this right away with some more material. So any worms that are left in the bucket or in the area are not traumatized. Okay, so back with you when we've done that. Okay, so one of the things we're going to fill the garden tower with now, refill it I guess, is with this leaf mold that we started last fall. It sat in giant mattress bags all winter. I have a video on that if you want to watch how we did it. This is leaf mold. There are worms in here, not a lot, but there are worms in here and these are leaves that are very well broken. So Landon's going to add that. He's replaced the bucket into the hole. I want to be quick about this process because there were worms left in the nooks, well, stuck to the walls of the bucket if you like. So he's adding that and then we are also adding to this new worm tower now we are adding a bucket not full but um, probably eight or ten liters of really well aged horse manure and compost mixed together so landon could you do an aerial view down into the bucket there yeah and also has some shredded cardboard oh and some shredded cardboard mixed in so how full is the bucket uh, half full. Half full. So there you Uncompacted. go. Uncompacted. Uncompacted. And so next step is the worms. Landon set me up here in the shade. It's a hot day. And so I'm here with my grand dog, Kona. And he set me up with the styrofoam tote on a chair. The clear tote that we had the leaf mold right next to me. And I'm going to be going through this material. I've already found some cocoons and put them in the clear tote. Everything in this clear tote is going to get returned to the tower and everything that's left over in this styrofoam tote, I'm going to treat that just like I would any other uh, bin that I empty, season the castings, decide what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go through here and pull both cocoons and worms. All right, bring you back in a bit. Okay, so here I am just a few minutes later. Landon's gone and done something, what, what did the British call it? Throw a spanner in the works, which means he's called me for brunch. So I have to quit doing what I'm doing, which was, I was just loosely going through here, pulling worms, pulling larger chunks that I want to return to the tower and pulling cocoons that I want to return to the tower. So I had just worked on like the, the first few inches of this and then I got the dinner bell. So this material, I have, oops, see, I haven't been through the middle. Look at that, there's worms, there's obviously a, um, a leaf or something that we must have put in there fairly recently. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to get returned to the tower, which I'm putting in this clear tote over here. And everywhere I dig, there are worms. So, you know, they've probably ducked mostly down because of the uh, rough housing uh, that I've been doing on the surface as well as as well as the brilliant sunshine which I thought I had several hours in this location so that worm is firmly on a leaf there um, so I'll just put the whole thing back into the tower bucket ouch sorry about that this is what we this is what I pulled out it's in the bright sun here, for me anyway. I don't know whether you can see that. 
that there are a lot of worms in here, but there are also a lot of, of larger chunks of debris. And so I'm going to be taking these worms back to their friends. These are beautiful worms. They've been living outside in our garden tower, breeding outside in our garden tower. Um, yeah, you're going for a little walk. Just beautiful, beautiful worms outside. So they are going to be happy to go back to their familiar environment, back to their familiar friends. So these are just the worms I pulled out, like I said, out of that first little section. So I'm gonna go add them now. So here we go. I've got the clear tote balanced on the edge of the garden tower there. Obviously I'm doing the camera work myself, so one handing it. I'm gonna empty these worms and cocoons back into the tower that Landon just restocked. In it goes. Can you imagine the worms that were out foraging in the garden? They may have come home. Hey, who changed all the furniture? <laughs> Where are all my friends? There's one right on the side of the bucket there, or the tote saying, you didn't get me. And you know, obviously in this debris that's on the bottom of the tote, there's gonna be a lot of worms. So I can grab this one. Oops, because he's a rather large worm. So I'll put him back back in his garden tower. These other ones you can see that are left in the debris on the bottom. I can see worms there. I am going to rinse this. Oh, and there's a larger one too. So I can save him, but I'm going to rinse this tote with some water and get all of these worms out of this system. So out of this temporary system. So I got him. All right, next thing, rinse. Be right back. All right, so here I'm back with a little bit of water in that clear tote that I used to transport the worms and cocoons from the contents of the garden tower. Now, there's lots more worms in there and lots more cocoons. This was just step one. Landon's called me for breakfast. So I'm just gonna dump this whole contents into the garden tower. Worms, cocoons, whatever else is in there. There's still a little bit of debris left in this tote. And sure enough, I think that's maybe even a worm stuck on the side, is it? If it bends, it's a worm. Nope, it doesn't bend. Anyway, just to be sure, I will rinse this tote one more time and empty it into my garden. So that is the harvest of our garden tower. Um, Landon pulled it right out of the ground, emptied it into a tote. I am now going through that tote, treating it like any other worm bin. I am pulling worms and I hope um, that we'll be able to use those castings in short order. And so I'll say goodbye for today with a lovely shot poof, of my mother's poppy. Poppies from my mother's garden. All right, bye for now.